Hello, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. So I changed that bit up a bit. Um, this is definitely going up on the second channel, so that intro will be elsewhere. It's an intro I've been using for a while now. But yeah, welcome to another episode of um, Transition Transmission. So, I know it's been a while. Um, just over six months now on the hormones. And everything is going brilliant. Yeah, I know probably some of you have seen me the fact that I now have my hair shaved. <clears throat> Again, rather than having it long like I had it before. But, hey, I digress. Uh, but yeah, everything's going well on that. Um, now on the uh, <clears throat> three months uh, T-block injections. And I'm still on the one milligram or whatever it is every day of uh, estradiol. So the uh, magic pills, obviously. Eventually that will go up to whatever they decide to say it is once they have the blood test done and that lot. Um, but so far everything is good. The only thing in this summer heat, which us Brits are... Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the summer heat that us Brits are not used to. It's uh, a little bit awkward because sometimes I do get night sweats um, because it is quite sticky in this room. Because even though this is a new build house, you would think, yeah, new build house, it's going to be good. No, um, weirdly, this house, everything is so hot. It's The heat is trapped in so well, whereas the other place that I was at before with that my purple wall and my brick behind me, um, you know, in my little gothic nest, that place was harder to heat. But at least it stayed cooler in summer. It was uncomfortable, but it was cooler. This is a very hot house. It's just the nature of the beast, really. But hey, that's just how it goes. Probably really won't be able to see much out of that, but there is a little bit of stuff there. Yeah, I have, as you would have seen from the previous video before this one, um, with the um, cheeky girls thing, that was absolutely roasting in time for that that was boiling so i am red as all hell and as you can see there is a nice white patch that's my normal color and this is me like that and then uh, after another day on the sunday of being out in it up near clivero at Eddisford bridge doing a family gathering that was also another day of getting um getting quite toasty but hey, everything is going all right at the moment. Everything is slow, as it will be. Um, uh, I do get the the odd uh, message from Sheffield, just seeing how things are going and stuff like that. Um, with the vocal training, I can push forward. I try to use that, but most of the time I just drop back to my normal voice, um, just because sometimes it's easier. Because sometimes holding it a little bit higher, sometimes can be a bit of a strain, even though I can't quite do that all day and it doesn't really bother me. Um, job wise, I'm still looking for another job. I do have some hopefuls, but I don't really know on that. Um, as for, for me, on the makeup side, I've probably said it before, I don't, I'm not a fan of wearing makeup. I don't really want to do the, go down the whole route of wearing makeup and stuff. Um, I'm not really all that into that because I don't like the feel of it on my skin and I don't like the smell the smell of it the chemicals but that's just me I might I know eventually I'll probably get over that and I will start probably using a little bit of kind of like concealer just for the stubble and I might do a little bit of a little bit of lip line and a little bit of gloss and a little bit of eye line and blush and kind of like eye shads and stuff I don't know I'm not all that far into it to be honest my mum doesn't wear makeup all the time you know she doesn't like it plus because of the jobs that she does it's fine the jobs I did it was fine not to wear makeup it's just how it is but hey I don't know I'm not sure where I'll go with that <sighs> it can go either way to be honest I'm more just 
doing how I feel. It's the same with dress and how I dress. It's, I'm always going to be a kind of like that sort of like gothic-y, tomboyish sort of look. I'm always going to have that sort of edge to it, especially with being covered in ink, you know. Yeah, I'm, probably, I'm always going to be alternate and stuff. That's me. But you never know how anything else is going to go with things. It's just how you feel with everything and all of that and how it progresses. Moving Doctors for me, yeah, it delayed it, delayed a few things by about two weeks, but nothing major. You know, like getting the injections and stuff, it's brilliant. Being in Greater Manchester, where you've got a lot of places where everything is perfectly set up to host on with all of the LGBT stuff and all of the trans and everything else, it's all perfectly integrated. There's a few times where it does kind of stall and it does hold itself up but other than that there isn't really much issue with that the only thing I can say is yes I am definitely going a lot more deaf yes the vlogs on my other channel are slowing down I am going to be doing a lot more on the gaming side of things just because I can naturally do that with having the PS5 and having the big old computer in the corner over there and you know, and having the ability to stream things, I can do that any old day of the week. Hence why I'm doing a lot of the F1. You know? Yeah, I do. Like that. That's it, because I'm going to be doing some practice in a little bit. Because I need to practice to next race. So, yeah, that is there for that. Um, but, other than, other than that, no. It's all however you want to do things. It's all down to you as the person, how you feel with things. Same with it's down to me of how I think, feel with things. You know, it's just how it is. You don't have to conform to things and you don't have to fit yourself to that little box. You don't fit in the box. You don't fit in the box. It doesn't matter. You don't need to be in the box. It's the same thing if, if your voice falls too masculine, it falls too masculine. If it goes feminine, it goes feminine. If you don't have the features that you don't, that, you know, that you ideally wanted, don't worry about it. Just relax. Take it easy with it and flow with it. That's what I've learned over the problems that I've had, especially with getting COVID and stuff like that. And then your voice will just totally just fall to the floor and you sound like Vin Diesel every morning. Don't worry about it. We're all in the same boat. We're all broken in different ways. We all have our own malfunctions. We all have our own problems. There will be people out there that have the same problem as you and they will find a way out of it and you can too. Every time I do these, I'm just gonna always end it the same way. It's gonna be a slight different variation on it, but it's always gonna be the same thing. Basically, just be true to yourself. Be who you are, be who you are comfortable. You are you. You are the only you. There is no other copy of you. You are you. You are you. You are the original. So you are you. And you are you. Anyway. <laughs> I've rambled on. I know most of you probably won't understand any of what I've just said. Especially because I've just been rambling. And it has just basically just more been a mess. But, you know, this is just a catch up. Just for me to say, I'm still alive. I'm still here, I'm still transitioning, things are going well, things are going slowly. Anyway, this has been me, and I'm just going to say, peace.